So welcome back to the PSM podcast where I am at this very moment playing Warhawk with the tilt controller. And I've got to say it is pretty intense. This is pretty revolutionary new technology. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I mean, as you can see, I'm able to just control the game by tilting my hands. I can make dramatic swoops or just little slight little movements like this. And the, the plane responds like a dream. Of course, so I'm not actually playing a PlayStation 3 or using the PlayStation 3 controller to do this. I'm actually using a controller released by Pelican in uh, 1999 that, and the uh, original Warhawk for the original PS1, which came out in uh, 1995. And um, once you know, the revolutionary new PS3 technology uh, was actually done, uh, you know, over a decade ago. and. Um, they were able to do vibration in the controller, uh, which they're not able to do, do on the PS3 because um, it evidently would mess up the, uh, the tilt sensing, but it seems to be working just fine here. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm actually, wow, it's vibrating. I'm actually playing um, Gran Turismo uh, 4 Prologue on PlayStation 2 using the Tilt Force 2 controller. And it, it works quite well. It takes a little getting used to uh, the idea of turning your hands like this to uh, make your car turn, or turning them like this, like a steering wheel. But um, it's actually kind of tiring. But it does work with PlayStation 2, so um, for my $5 uh, eBay investment, I've uh, gotten quite a bit of return here. Yeah, the, uh, the vibration combined with motion sensing seems to work fine, so I don't what the big deal is about uh, not having it in the PS3 controller. So as you can see, this technology is by no means new or revolutionary. Um, you know, in fact, um, what you can tell from this is that uh, what you're getting with the PlayStation 3 is limited compared to something that came out in 1999 for the original PlayStation. I mean, granted, the PlayStation 3 controller will be more precise and will be wireless and have a rechargeable battery and all that good stuff, but, um, you know, more than just a, kind of a funny demonstration here, it, it just kind of makes us wonder, you know, exactly how much of that is true that you know, we can't have vibration feedback in the PlayStation 3 controller because it will mess up motion sensing when we're doing that right now. We're, we're playing with motion sensitivity and uh, vibration using this controller in a number of games. Oops, little wall there. Ah! See you next time on the PSM podcast. Uh, we just got done wrapping up our August issue, so look for it on newsstand soon. And uh, keep on PlayStationing.